Hello, my name is Cord Catcher and you are listening to the MBS Show. Hello and welcome to the MBS Show, episode number 151. I am your host, Norman Sanzo. Joining me today is James. Uh, it's been forever since I've been in one of the normal episodes. Hey guys. Hey, so how have you been? Uh, I have been alright, um, despite having some issues with, guess what, Spanish banks coming to attack, but everything got solved in like a couple of, uh, a couple of days. It was, it was like this, the, the ending to season three. It got <laughs> solved in a couple of minutes and there you go. Oh no, we have a conflict. Wait, wait a minute, we don't have oh, any conflict. God. Yeah. Good. <laughs> I didn't turn into an alicorn princess though. Oh man, you should. That'll be fun. No, I don't want to. I am afraid of heights. <laughs> Okay. Also joining us is Ro. What's happening, all you happy people? Hey there, Ro. How are you, man? Slowly but surely. How do I knew you were going to say that? Well, you got to move slowly but surely, man. You can't, I, can't, I can't go fast. I'm no Sanic. Can't go fast. <laughs> Gotta take it easy, you know. Uh, okie dokie dokie. So what have you been doing? I've been drawing. Drawing good? That's good. Yes. That's uh, all I ever done. That's all I ever will do. Yay. Ended a character design contest. Let's see how that turns out. Oh, hope you win, man. Hope you win. Eh, there's no win. It's just, you know, to show off and get promoted. Huh? Okay. Also joining us, guest host for today, is Corna. Greetings, Internet. I don't know why I'm here. You've been here once, man. I've been here twice, if I remember correctly. Yeah, once the first time, and then now the second. Or you, was, was there another time? Because I kind of forgot. I, I do believe I've been here twice before this. Huh, really now? Huh. See, see, this is why I'm unsure if I should be here. Even Norman doesn't remember. <laughs> I remember the one time only. I think you've been here once. Don't try to finagle your way through. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, so how you been doing, man? Uh... No, pretty okay. Life in general. Mm, okay. Awesome, awesome. So anyway, our guest for this week is the Cord. <laughs> cord <laughs> catcher, like actually. Superhero. <laughs> I know. I, I called you the Cord at first, and I was derping. Like, what? Why did I call him the Cord? But anyway, that the was cord. a pretty good intro. The Cord. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds awesome, to be honest. Hmm? Hello good. there. How are you doing, man? I'm doing good, thanks. How are you? I'm tired. Really, really tired. I may sound cheerful right now, but fine fact, I just got back from work. And work involves me taking pictures of people playing card. I'm very jelly. <laughs> <laughs> I know the feel, man. I'm, I'm tired as well. Not long back from a wedding. Oh, my. How was that? It was really fun, but it, it went quite late. <laughs> oh, was it your wedding? <laughs> no, it wasn't my wedding. It was, um, well, actually, it was technically one of my cousins, I guess. Uh... Okay. You were lucky there. You dodged the bullet. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure Ro will agree with you. I'm too young. <laughs> too young. Okay, yeah, that is the philosophy. I'm, you're 50 years old. I'm too young to marry. <laughs> <laughs> Not if that you're an philosophy. elf. Uh, or an Asari. Mm, true. But, <laughs> but anywho, Court, we need to ask you the four important questions before we start. And question number one is, favorite character? Ooh, now you see, this this is a point of contention in this fandom, mm -hmm. but I'd have to go with everyone's favourite princess of the night. It's got to be Luna. Ah, Luna's a fun one. Luna's a fun one. I like her too. Acceptable, acceptable. <laughs> All the moon, just just hail the moon. Favourite episode? Ah, I've never thought about this to be honest because I don't really think about the episodes as a favourite. Oh, well, yeah. you're put into the spotlight, so let's go pick and pick one. <laughs> I think I think it would have to be I can't remember the name of it, but the one with the diamond dogs. Oh, oh, a dog and pony show. That one, yeah. Wow. I just I love the diamond dogs as characters. <laughs> Old school, all the way to season one. Good choice. Yeah. You cannot go wrong with an episode starring Best Horse. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that your favorite is Rarity then. <laughs> oh, what, what what gave it away? I mean, you only have like five know, it's, plushies it's of. Yeah, it's. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure. I'm hiding all my rarity plushies right now. I have like five of them. Do you still have the Bill Bear one? Yeah, no, that one. Uh, my friend Nick kept that one. Oh, I, okay. In, in case you guys don't know, I made a Bill the Bear uh, rarity plush when I was in Manchester, and I put a, an Apple Jack 
boys box inside it. <laughs> so I created, <sighs> I created Ruddy, Ruddy Hick. <laughs> from the episode Simple Ways. <laughs> oh, that's it was hilarious to it was hilarious to hear Ruddy to go yeehaw. Oh god. <laughs> oh god. Oh, James, you murdered us. Oh, that's good. I like that. All right. So, Cord, uh, how do you become a fan of the show? <laughs> um, I was actually one of these people who went on sites like Funny Junk. Oh. <laughs> Get, gets me killed in many places now because I hate funny junk now. Oh, really? Yeah. Because of just what it is, sort of thing. Hmm. But I saw a picture just pop up when I was browsing one day, and I, I went to the same mentality that every like sort of troll on the internet does, thinking I I want to make fun of this. I thought I'm not going to do it unless I know about it. So I watched the first episode <laughs> just so I knew what I was talking about to make fun of it. Then I watched the second episode, then the first season. <laughs> and here I am. <laughs> so let me see, what kind of trolling jokes have you made yet? <laughs> I've made none because I looked at it and thought, damn, this is actually pretty good. <laughs> so... What's the second one I thought, oh god, there goes my life. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, I've been a brony since 2012, I think. Wow. What was the main mm-hmm. episode that made you go, oh god, I love this show? It was halfway through the second episode, the second part of the first, like, pilot, because oh, it was in oh, two wow. parts. I was watching, I watched the first one and thought, okay, I can see why people like this. I watched the second one and I, was, I felt myself smiling and thinking, yeah, they're going to do it. I was like, oh, God, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That, that dreadful moment where the, the, the penny drops and you are like, oh, no, I like a show for little girls. For me, like it. for me, it was Showstoppers. <laughs> was it that? Showstoppers uh, was the one where the CMC sang. Yeah, yeah that, that, that was Showstoppers. Yep. For me, it was for me it was um, Ghostbusters. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. Mm-hmm. What about you guys, Corner and Rue? Uh, I can't can't say. <laughs> uh, probably, probably like the first two episodes are just like. Wow, oh, that's fast. This is pretty good. Okay. Euro? I was the fan of that brought me in. The one. episodes that were all equally awesome, but it was the fan of that I initially, like, I want to join these guys. They look like fun people. Hmm. But if you had to pick an episode, which one would be? Oh, my God. I still cannot decide, man. I like them all. Come on, come on. Don't, 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 oh. don't, don't say they give you A and B and you answer C. You like to do that a lot, Ro. Come on. I know, stop, I know. I can't, des- I can't really decide, man. I like yeah, you all. can. If Kurt could decide, you can decide as well. Oh, come on. Let's see now. Probably the end of season two. Oh, that was a good one. Oh, the, the Cantalot wedding finale. Yeah, I like the fight scenes. <laughs> yeah. Ponies fight can scenes. kick butt, ladies and gentlemen. Cannon. <laughs> Although season four, that Dragon Ball Z crossover. Oh, God. Oh, yes. yes. Oh, so good. You know what? In season five, I want a Hajime no Ippo reference. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes, please. <laughs> Boxing please ponies. So Yay. <laughs> yes. You kids with your violence and your action sequences. Oh, <laughs> you don't understand us, old man. Shut up, Norman. You're older than me. <laughs> You're just very mature. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> but, but anywho, but anywho, uh, it's not about us. It's all about the chord. And the chord, my introducing your house. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I just love it. The chord. It sounds awesome. <laughs> I know. <laughs> we chord. Mind introducing yourself to the people who might not know who you are and what you do. That's everyone then. Ah, mm. <laughs> oh, come on. Don't be so hard on yourself. <laughs> well, I go by the name of Chord Catcher on everything brony, to be honest. Mm-hmm. Mainly because that is my OC. But it switches genders quite a lot. Oh, wow. <laughs> it doesn't matter. I just say, anyone who asks me to want to draw it, it's like, what gender is it? It's like, well, it depends. Mm. On what? It's like, do you want to draw it as male or female? Go ahead. <laughs> That's usually very good for artists. They, they, they are not limited to draw one or another. This yeah. reminds me of Ranma one half. Depends on, did it get drenched in hot water or cold water? <laughs> oh, yes. I watched I, that. I, I that. love Ranma. I, I so hated I. Ranma. Oh, my God, I hated <laughs> Ranma. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. I blame the Spanish dab. Oh. The James, voice, um, James. 
the voice oh, actor who does Bulk Biceps is in Ranma. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh did you know uh, Kathy Westlock? I can't remember played, but... Yeah, Kathy the voice for Spike did shampoo. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, uh, she was. was. Oh, that's cool. Oh, my God. Oh, that cracks me up every time. Uh, but sorry to interrupt uh, you, Court. Yes. Oh, no worries. I like tangents. <laughs> They're fun. True. <laughs> but, yeah, I'm... I'm a sort of self-taught musician... I play guitar and sing, or at least try to, but I haven't actually got anything out there yet, mainly because my internet, <laughs> it's been going down a lot recently, and I haven't been able to upload. Every time I upload, it crashes my internet, and it goes down for about half an hour. Mm. Uh, I'm hopefully getting fiber optic soon, which oh. means that content will be coming out, I hope. Mm, awesome, can't wait. But I mainly do covers at the minute, so... Mm, awesome, awesome, can't wait. But you know what? I have a strong feeling. I think I know why your internet's down. Because I'm English? No, <laughs> I'm not that, I, I'm not that, I'm not that mean. It's because of the... Oh no, England is dreadful. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's because of the X-Bone. Ah, yeah. <laughs> I have an Xbox One player. <laughs> oh, 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 no, get that thing out of your house, man. <laughs> <laughs> you, I have wasted why? so much of my life on it. Destiny, I, which people hate me for. I've got like 750 hours on Destiny. Uh, it just poor takes son. my life. <laughs> so poor, add to the son. list of fetishes that Court has, masochism and sadism. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Now that's for future pictures that I'm going to do for you. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. But... Oh my. Can't wait to see them. <laughs> okay, now, uh, this has nothing to do with ponies, but just as a PSA for anyone who might be listening to this, uh, was it worth buying the console and that game? Um, not when I bought them. Mm, not at um, all, because I was one of these people who queued up at midnight and got oh. it on release, and it was... That's not a word! ...expensive. Excuse my language. Oh, that's fine. It's cool, it's cool. Really it's cool. Ask Sweetie mm-hmm. Bolt is going to take care of that later. It's mm-hmm. all right. Okay, okay. I didn't really ask if I could swear as well. Oh, no, I forgot to mention no. it. <laughs> yes. Um, yeah, it's yeah, just, it, was, it was really expensive when I bought it. It was like £500, which in dollars is close to a grand, I think. Uh, well, back then anyway, because it was, it was around about that time when it was double. Jesus. But um, now that you don't have to buy it with Connect, and it's, got, it's gotten cheaper and cheaper and cheaper... I would recommend buying an Xbox One if you want to play online, but I wouldn't recommend buying Destiny. <laughs> what? People... Even after... Whoa, 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 hang on a minute. So you dedicate 700 hours to play Destiny, and you say it's not worth buying? What? Yes. Logic? Mainly because I saw it for what it is. It's not... Because it's made by Bungie, people think it's going to be a Halo remake. And I saw it for what it is, which is not a Halo remake. It's an attempt at a first-person shooter MMO. And they've done it reasonably okay. It could be better. The storyline's quite short, and they're going to make you pay for DLCs. That's why I wouldn't recommend getting it. Mm. Oh, God. But I'm so So, invested, I can't get rid of it anymore. (laughs) It's kind of like like Borderlands, what people have said. Yes. It's it's like a first-person role-playing game. (laughs) Uh, Very much so. And yeah. the fact that it's all online is well. You've got to have an internet connection. You can't play it offline. Oh, that's so, nice. ooh, that's now that's okay. Nice. That is a bummer. Yeah, yeah. Not but everybody that's can why, afford that's why I a good internet. It. Yeah, not everybody can afford a good internet con- connection. Besides, is it only on the Xbox One? No, I think no, it's, it's on, on the PC and PS4. PS4 as well. Yeah, it's... exactly. So I'm wondering for those people that have a very good, powerful PC, I don't think it's even worth it to 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 buy a an Xbox One. Hmm. No, not at all. Yeah. But what are the it games did, yeah. besides Destiny? Because, like, come on, you got Destiny on the Xbox One because you have an Xbox One, but other games, like, I know Killer Instinct is good. I, I've never actually played Killer Instinct. Oh, God, I'm going the one person with an Xbox One that hasn't played it's it. It's free! I have downloaded download it. <laughs> <laughs> I have I have Killer Instinct on the Nintendo 64 and that is the best Killer Instinct and shut up I disagree with your opinion because it's wrong um, uh, we are digressing massively but it's what happens when we are talking about uh, when it, when we bring up the Xbox One subject yeah, it is impossible not to talk about it because th- there are things that have gone wrong in the past few years that I think is the biggest yeah, yeah. Uh, at least at, le- at least when it comes to the entertainment uh, industry. Mm. Oh, yeah. uh, going back to going back to this thing, and I just interject. Uh, it's not on PC. 
Oh, really? PS3, PS4, Xbox 360, Xbox One. Ah, okay. Yeah. No, P- no PC. Destiny doesn't have support on PC? No, no PC. They said they were going to bring it out, but they never did. They ran out of time, I think. Uh, I definitely... I, you know what? From what I heard and from what I've seen, I don't think it's even worth buying a console over it. Yeah. Oh, I'm, just... I'm, I'm saving my dodge to buy an, a Wii U and Super Smash Bros. and Mario Pocket Kart Fighter. 8. Yes, fucking fire. <laughs> and Bayonetta 2 and all those other games that, oh my god, they look like so much fun. Do I have to get in my internet connection for this console? No. Okay, good. Play. Let's play. Let's have I wish I bought a Wii U, to be honest, because the Zelda remake of Wind Waker just uh, looks incredible. It is. It is. <laughs> I, I have, have it. A Wii U. <laughs> even, I am tickled to, even I am tickled to buy the, the, the Wind Waker remake, and I didn't like Wind Waker. But yeah. even I am looking at that thinking, I would like to take take it for a spin I'm pretty sure it can be fun well, James uh, here's a fun tip if you go look at a store there's a bundle with it so get that bundle so you don't really need to no, buy actually, the game it's, uh, no, actually it's better because at my local store they are selling the Wii U with two video games they're selling it with either Mario Kart 8 and Super Smash Bros or new uh, Super Luigi Bros and Smash Bros for 300 euros mm, cool well, Two video games on a console for 299.99 uh, euros. That is super cheap. Mm-hmm. Um, I had to pay way more to get my Nintendo 64 with Mario 64 in it. Mm. Well, I, so yes. I hope you, I hope you get it, man, because <laughs> add me on, as a friend and we can play Mario Kart. Yay! It's a, it's all a matter of time and money. Right now, all the money I have, I, I actually my bank is doing very well. I have a good amount of money in my account. But it's all focused on bills. So I am not going to spend it on a console that I will not be able to play because, hey, guess what I'm doing right now as I'm talking with you guys? I am finishing a pending commission. So, um, yeah, I cannot afford time and I cannot afford the money to support a console. It's cool, it's cool. It's cool, it's cool. But anywho, Cord, <laughs> sorry to digress yes. to other topics besides you. So oh, I love it, man. I love these topics. <laughs> yeah, but so, anywho, you said you were self-taught musician. What age do you start? Ooh, what age did I start? Um, I must have been. I, I know what year in school I started, but mm. it, I can't remember what age. I think it was about ten. It was year six I started. Mm-hmm. So I would have been around about ten, eleven ish. Mm. And that was my first. I had a guitar lesson as a school sort of thing, mm-hmm. but they didn't really go very far. They just taught you how to hold a guitar and maybe like a few chords and that was it mm-hmm. um the rest of it the re- <laughs> the 12 years i have since i'm now 22 i've just been teaching myself how to play and anything that i want to play i'll find tabs or listen to it and learn it by it and just play it mm. that's cool so what song what made you continue on playing because like some people wanted to be um, talented some people want to produce good music and some people want to get chicks out of it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a great question. <laughs> well, okay. I wouldn't I would be lying if I didn't say I wasn't looking for the chicas a little bit. <laughs> oh you. I gotta say my girlfriend loves the fact that I play guitar and sing. I'm going to be like Kurt Cobain, I'm going to be surrounded by ladies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, if only. I think oh. I think my looks kind of push that away. They hear my voice, then they come, they see me, then they go. <laughs> oh, no, my, my girlfriend loves it. My girlfriend loves it that I play and sing and that. And I've had people say that, like, you're, you're good, you should put things out there. And I've got a bit of a confidence issue at the minute anyway. But I will start soon, especially when my internet gets back up, but I can actually put things out there. Okay, um, cool, cool. But I mainly became, like, kept going with music because I just love making people a happy sort of thing. If someone needs cheering up, the first thing I'll do is ask them if they want like any music played. Because I like cheering people up. I like if my music can do something for someone, then that's the best feeling in the world. Play the smile and that's just song. <laughs> Oh, I would if I knew it. I <laughs> that, is a fantastic, that, one. that is a fantastic perspective in life, may I say. Though, I have to ask, do you have um, like, a specific playlist? Like, okay, these are the songs for like making people happy, and these are the songs for making people feel melancholic. <laughs> Try not to mix both of them, because if you start playing a stairway to heaven to a person who feels sad, they are going to feel even more sad. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't actually, because my voice tends to suit sadder songs. <laughs> so most of my playlists 
that I can play is just sad songs. <laughs> Wait, you want people to be Don't happy and you play sad songs? <laughs> it's just, the thing is, I put, I've been told that I put emotion behind my singing and it makes people sort of empathise with me when I'm singing and mm. it makes them happy because they can feel something. And mm. that's, I, I love that. On two separate occasions, I've made two people cry with my singing. <laughs> And it was, uh, for, well, good, it was for good reasons. Yeah, let's just specify <laughs> so that they are, not, they are not crying because your singing is bad. They are crying because your singing is very emotional. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yes. Okay. Yeah. It was my uncle Neil, actually, he heard me play uh, Viva La Vida by Coldplay. And he hates Coldplay. <laughs> but he loved it when I did it. Oh, wow. And it well, almost is... brought him to tears. So I was like, that's, that's an achievement. <laughs> good praise for you, man. Yeah, uh, I have to say though, uh, if people didn't like your singing, I'm pretty sure they wouldn't be crying, they'd just be screaming and running around. <laughs> they would they will stop. <laughs> or they will switch off the YouTube channel. <laughs> Take away my uh, guitar and throw it at a wall. Speaking, <laughs> speaking of which, do you have a YouTube channel? I do, but there's nothing on it. <laughs> nothing on it. Oh, okay. Because um, there was going to be a question related to how do you deal with, uh, you know, uh, if you ever make a remix or a song or like a, a, your own rendition of it. If you ever got hit by the DMCA and got the video taken down or like got a copyright claim or anything of that. But I guess because you didn't upload anything on that, you haven't had to deal with that kind of BS yet. Uh, which no, is good. I haven't. Um, good. I have, I always make sure, I've actually got permission from both um, Mando Pony and Acoustic Brony to upload covers of their songs. Um, I haven't uploaded any yet, and this was like, this was last year, actually. It was like, maybe July time last year, is when I messaged them on YouTube and asked, and they both said, yeah, go for it, as long as you, like, it. Mess- say me in there, that I'd made the song sort of thing. And that's what I... I make sure that they know that I'm going to be covering it. So if anything does happen like that, I can just say, well, here's the proof. I've got permission from the person who created it. Well, usually it's not individuals that you have to worry about. It's more like the companies that um, own YouTube that mm-hmm. could give you a problem, like Viacom or Time Warner. They are the yeah, ones that are they are the ones that are more likely going to throw a copyright claim at your face, saying that you didn't do the video or that part of the video doesn't belong to you. Yeah, I've dealt but, with that on um, gaming videos before. Uh, usually, cool. if it's not a if it's not a legit claim, you can dispute it, and they won't they won't try and dispute back. Well, I had one of those where they tried to dispute a part of um, Outlast, mm-hmm. and it wasn't the company that made it, and we had written permission from the company who made it, Red Barrel Studio, I think it is, um, to put it on YouTube. So we disputed <laughs> it, and they never came back with it, and the the suit just went. Hmm. That's cool. Oh, funny thing that you mentioned about that. Now Nintendo's doing the same thing, uh, where you upload a video and they split the, what you call this? Monetization money. Uh, 70, 70, 30? They get 30% uh, and yeah, you get 70%? I think it's that for Nintendo. And that's pretty cool. Because you get 55% from YouTube and then that is what they, they get the 30% of that sort of thing. Yeah, that's yeah. the monetization for YouTube and Nintendo, as I understand it. I'm not too sure. Yeah, there's, there's, that's a, how list, I understand there's it. a list there. But it's still cool. Like, instead of Nintendo saying, ha ha, you uploaded a video. No, we take all the money. Ha 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 ha. Well, yeah. you know that when that happens, it's uh, usually one subsidiary of the company or, or the other. That, For example, uh, Nintendo of America, they... They support Let's Players, they like that kind of thing, they like YouTubers because it's a way to promote their video games. Mm-hmm. Uh, however, Nintendo Japan, they are not so kind on it because they consider it an infringement of their copyright and a taking of their license. Mm-hmm. Which I can understand, you know, some people, they don't adapt very well to the, uh, to modern technologies. They see it like a threat to what they have been, they have been doing. Uh, that's, perfectly understandable however it's not where progress is taking you so that is true that watch is true. watch as this line is going to bite me right in the ass when we are going to review the uh, uh, comics 27 and 28 <laughs> uh, in a couple of weeks uh, just, oh just, remem- just remember that <laughs> keep that into keep that in mind okay boss so anywho court <laughs> you said you yes. mostly play sad songs but have you have you ever tried to play a happy song instead uh, yeah, all the time actually. Um, mm. I do try. I do try and vary what I play, but 
I tend to go, lean more towards the sad songs because I, when I hear myself singing them, I don't think, "Oh my god, kill it with fire." Oh, <laughs> <laughs> <Aww. laughs> I think you you sound that's, good. You sound good. Lot. Thank you. But as quite a lot of artists, I do hate the sound of my own voice. We uh, are our own worst critic. Yeah. Yeah. Tell me about yeah. it. I did this show every week, so yeah, I, I get tired of my own voice. Dude, I have to work on these pictures, and after three hours, the picture always looks horrible. <laughs> like, it, and it makes me want to restart all over, but I can't because ha ah, ah, ha ah. ha. Wow. Yeah. It happens to everybody. True, 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 yeah. true. And then other people say, "Oh my god, it looks amazing." Yeah, and then you go on. Oh, no, it looks terrible. Tear the paper apart, run, break it, throw it to the trash. Well, Dave Polsky said that your JoJo picture was good. Dave Polsky mm-hmm. said that. Mm-hmm. I will never believe you. I got autograph. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> uh, you stand It's a lie, Norman. You're just trying to you're just trying to make me grow a confidence and 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 and, and have security on myself. I'm not going to I'm not going to believe you for one minute. You you deceiving lies. Yeah, well, <laughs> there's also Andy Price who said your OC was original and re- lies. And good. All lies. There's Never pictures. Do. There's pictures of it, man. Yeah. Next, you're going to tell me that Santa Claus is real and that the Easter Bunny exists. Oh yeah, they're real. Wait, wait, they don't. Don't tell me that. <laughs> Rise of the Guardians was a lie. Not <laughs> real. <laughs> you mean it wasn't real life? <laughs> Guillermo del Toro lied to us. Oh god. <laughs> Did you hear the the thing that? Um, Theaters derp instead of playing Rise of the you know, Guardians of the Galaxy, they play Rise of the Guardians. You know what? Either movie is great, so I don't think it's a bad it's a bad thing that happened. <laughs> True. <laughs> uh, it would have been worse if they started playing the whole Legend of the Guardians. That is a very weird trilogy. Oh yeah yeah. But anywho, Court, uh, what song did you play first when you were Brony? Ooh, my first song as a brony. Mm-hmm. Uh, it would have to be "Long Way from Equestria." That was your first, not by, any um, other official. No, my my very first song that I played when I became a brony was "Long Way from Equestria." I mean, I heard the songs in the show, obviously, mm-hmm. but the first musician I actually came across was Acoustic Brony, mm-hmm. and I listened to his instrumental tracks: Spectrum, Crepuscularity, um. I can't remember what the other one was called, but it was a rarity themed one. And I don't remember what it was called. <laughs> but I um I heard those and I thought they were fantastic because they're original about the show. I mean what could be better? Hmm. And then I um I saw that he did a song with this artist called Mando Pony. Hmm. And it was loyalty. So I thought Okay, I went to Mando Pony and I saw the very first thing that I saw on his channel was um, it was like a video. I don't know what you call it. Um, tutorial maybe. Oh, that one. Of Long Way from Equestria, and it was a really old one, and it it sort of t- it taught you how to play it. And I thought, okay, I'll give this a go. And that was the very first song that I I actually played from the from the fandom. Hmm. That's cool because I remember trying trying to play um, was it loyalty and he, when he was teaching it and I tried to play it and I still can play it to this day I'm terrible. I can play it I just can't sing it. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy! So right now you're trying to get out there like get the channel up get the recording done and whatnot right? Well, I wouldn't really say that I'm trying to put myself out there. I'm just. I've been told that my voice is good and that I can play well. And people have been saying, suggesting, like, maybe you should just see what other people think. Just put yourself out there a bit. It's like, fair enough. If quite a few people like it that I know, surely there must be some credence to what they're saying. So I thought maybe may as well try, you know? <laughs> mm. And you know what? I-, I heard you play in the Team OK calls, and you're pretty good, and you should. I'm guessing there's going to be a few fans who will say, hey, you're pretty good. Now I'll play my OC. <laughs> play my OC, yeah. That, I can imagine that would happen. <laughs> no, but seriously. I, uh, hope, I hope that a few people will say that I'm pretty good because, I mean, 
I've never been too confident about my singing voice. Mm-hmm. I've always thought that I was tone deaf, really. <laughs> but I've been learning how to sing slowly. It's been it's been a couple of years that it's taken me, but I'm slowly learning how to how to properly sing. And if I'm making if I'm making people happy with that, then what better feeling is there? True, true. That is true. That is true. Guys, any more questions? Hmm. How many guitars does a musician need? <laughs> Just one more. Everything. Yeah, 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 that's the answer. <laughs> Good. <laughs> oh dear. You can't get you can't get enough guitars. <laughs> Although. I've only got two guitars, but I have got more stringed instruments than just guitars. Oh, I mean, what else do you play? Have you got a ukulele, mandolin, banjo? <laughs> oh wow, James, looks like we have another sketchy here. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, the, that was what is sketchy. The most, what is the most expensive instrument that you have? Expensive? Yes. Ooh. The grand piano. <laughs> <laughs> you have a grand piano? No, I don't. I've got a keyboard. <laughs> <laughs> The most expensive instrument will probably be my banjo because it's a proper, like, known make of it. I can't remember what it is at the minute because it's in its case and I can't remember what the make is called. <laughs> but, um, I got it for Christmas from my parents and it, that has to be the most expensive instrument that I, that I own. Oh. Although none of my instruments are really that expensive. I mean, the guitar that I play regularly, my Crafter Cruiser semi acoustic, is maybe. No more than two hundred quid, two hundred pounds, hmm. which is really quite cheap for a guitar, hmm. especially one that sounds as good as this one. I'm quite amazed at how well this sounds. Hmm. Okay. Cool. Maybe hmm. probably we could ask you to play at the end for the end team, but we'll cross that bridge when we cross it. Do you play any, any other instruments other than you know string instruments? I try. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've dabbled playing keyboard, but I'm not. All that good with it. I'm very left-handed, and I don't have the dexterity in my right hand to play the melody parts on keyboard unless I cross my hands over and do it with my left hand. Wow. No, no, no. no. See, what you need to do is you replace your right hand with the left hand. <laughs> that would solve all my problems. Oh, problem. no, corner, corner, corner is not the same thing. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> you know what? Okay, new age Beethoven. Oh. <laughs> Two left hands. <laughs> Oh, by the way, uh, Court, do you play the ocarina? Uh, I have before, but I don't have one. Oh, okay. So, is it true when you play, do you go back in time? Uh, yes, actually. Oh, wow! <laughs> NBA show, only intelligent questions are asked. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Hey, it's a follow-up. I can joke if I want to. I'm funny. You grieve you per- you per- your person. Oh, oh my oh. god. But anywho, thank thank you, Court, for coming on the show and sharing your stories. And I hope that when you come out there, I get to use your song often. <laughs> you can use any songs that I write. Yay. <laughs> if I ever write any. <laughs> Yay. Do covers. <laughs> Do covers. And I take it from you. <laughs> but anywho, um, can you join us for news time? No, I can, yeah. yeah cool. Awesome, awesome. And let's move on. Ro, it's your time to shine. At last. Hello and welcome to the NBA Show News Time. In today's News Time, MLP Series 3 trading cards coming out February 27th. Pre-order available now. Do you have an interest in collecting cards? Do you also have an interest in collecting MLP swag? But this like the complex ruling of the card game? If the answer is yes, then you're in luck. And today is going to release the third series of the MLP trading cards, New in this series are 91 episode cards, one from each episode, 9 song sweep cards, 10 unique autograph cards, and 8 lenticular cards. Pre-orders are available now at the Interplay website. Links can be found in the show notes below. Yay, so I like trading card games. Um, by, you, you already know about my addiction to magic, so yeah. But, but trading, cards, <laughs> trading cards are fun. You can just collect them and trade with friends. And I like what they're doing here. They're adding more things that are unique, like autograph cards and uh, lenticular cards. Those are the cards where when you uh, move it up and down or left and right, they kind of change images or at least try to make some kind of uh, movement with it. 
We call those holographic cards in my day, but because, you know, they are actually working with real holograms nowadays, they have to call them lenticular. Yeah, true. Fair. Fair. <laughs> but also, uh, sorry, I sorry. scoff in your general direction, you stupid word, lenticular. Uh, yeah, and, uh, Nor- Norman, you like magic, but you do know that in magic you have no friends, you have only enemies. Now, if you play tag team... <laughs> <laughs> Not even when you play tag team, you have friends because if that other friend that you play with is useless, you're going to end up punching him in the face. But, but James, is the thing, you you partner with his friends. You you sorry, you partner with your friend. That means you guys work together. So that means he's going to do the no, same no, to that's you. It. If you don't work together well, or if your friend has a useless deck, then you're going to end up getting trouble. Yeah, it's sort of fun of it. A perfect man. test of friendship. <laughs> Uh, a true, true friend is a friend indeed. <laughs> uh, but anywho, I, I, what I what, what piqued my interest here is the ten unique autograph cards because I, I I'm really interested in how they look like. Because over here, this this Japanese card game, which is called White Schwartz or Black and White, for those of you who know German, and they have these special cards where they're autograph cards, but they're Printed on autographs from the original voice actor for said car- anime character, and for this one, I got no idea how they're doing it. Are they going to use the stamp thingy like what the Japanese do, or did they really went to Peter New and asked him to autograph? I don't think they are going to have Peter New autograph thousands and thousands of cards. Because, first of all, his wrist is going to be very sore. And second, it's not very practical. I'm pretty sure they're going to go with the stamp thingy. Mm, But if you do notice on the EQDs, they posted a thing where Enterplay showed things like, oh, Peter New signing autographs, like a thousand, a stack of them, something like that. Or is it um, Peter New himself and just... The pictures on the Twitter, something like that, showing that. I am know. absolutely sure that those cards are going to be like special editions uh, or like uh, limited, convention. limited, uh, uh, yeah, mm. limited to cons or limited to whoever buys the first hundred or whatever. I don't think they're going to have him sign thousands and thousands of cards. It's in, it, it's impractical and it's cumbersome. Mm. Oh. If they, if they do, if they do, holy cow, that's great, but. That is stupid. No, true. I, have to, pra- I have to agree with James on this. Yeah, true. Oh, this when, it comes be... to practicali- when it comes to practicality, it's not practical. Go on, please. Mm-hmm. Sorry, I'm, I keep interrupting it's you. Cool, it's cool. Oh, this could be a blank card. It's just one card that's blank, <coughs> and when you go to Peter New, you ask him to sign it. It could be that. That is a very smart, uh, very smart possibility, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Well, I guess we need to buy it and see. And you know, the most difficult one is Terra Strong. <laughs> yeah, you know what? Now that you think, now that you say that, it's like when uh, when IDW makes those comic books that uh, have the cover completely blank, mm. so you can take them because they are like convention exclusive or convention retail or whatever. And you take them to the autograph uh, desk and you ask the either the writers or the artists or whatever to uh, sign and draw the cover for you. Mm, and then yeah. you can ask whatever you want to be on that cover. Yeah, you know what? I, I wouldn't be surprised if they go that route. They that would cool. be very smart. You know, yes. I, I, when I was in Singapore, when I met Andy Price, I saw people buying comics with blank covers and asking Andy to draw it. And technically, those comics were not done by him kind of deal. So it was like, yeah, that, uh, that, well, you know what? It's okay because many artists, well, Norman, you have seen it when we review the comics, mm-hmm. the covers are not always done by the same artist who does the, the artwork inside. Yeah, true, true. But, you know, to me, yeah. when I gave Andy to sign the cowboy, uh, no, not the cowboy, but the Rarity and Applejack Micro, I, when yeah, I the one with the inside, cowboy cover. Yeah, I, I, I was so happy when giving it to him and stuff like, eee, I'm supporting you. <laughs> but Cor, what do you think, man? Interested in card games and whatnot? Uh, I'm not really playing many card games except for Pokemon. <laughs> 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 I was, I played Pokemon a lot when I was younger. Pokemon's like, awesome. Man. Card games with the marbles and everything. I I understood those rules, which was strange because I barely understand any rules. 
Oh, uh, okay, cool, cool. So you're you're not into this kind of thing. You you want the battle system, right? Uh, yeah, I'm not really like not really into Magic: The Gathering or anything, anything like that. But I kind of um, I'm interested in the MLP card game, to be honest. Oh, really? Because no. it's a different way of doing it. Mm, it's true. It's true. The gameplay is a bit different. I wish I knew someone. Well, I do know. Looks like I need to talk to him. Yay! But anywho, moving on. Bro. PlayStation Network gets Pony Avatars. Good news for all PlayStation 3 owners. You can, you too can get your very own MLP avatar on PlayStation Network. As for now, they are only seven avatars available on the network for $199 each, and they are Applejack, Fluttershy, Derpy, Pinkie Pie, Rainbow Dash, Rarity, Spike, and Twilight Sparkle. Link can be found in the show notes below. Yay, finally we play session. Uh, Yo. Ram, I'm, I'm sorry, but I only heard Applejack and Applejack and Applejack and Applejack. Yeah, but of course. Still, I want. Funny, funny uh, we heard the same thing, man. <laughs> I think in your case, it's rarity, rarity, rarity. Shut up. Yeah. I know very well what I heard. <laughs> <laughs> Applejack is my second favorite, you numbnuts. <laughs> but... The thing is, like I was trying to say, um, yay, finally, we PlayStation 3 owners have uh, Pony Avatars. Usually, it came down to the Xbox with, well, much better selection, really. Yeah. But hey, um, we're not complaining. We're happy. I, I finally, I am. We, we get to use Pony Avatars. Not unless you use Steam. <laughs> PC Master Gaming, Grace, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. And it's for free, too. <laughs> But why would you use Steam when there's Origin? Uh, no. Oh, yeah. oh. Corner, 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 corner. We don't swear in this show, please. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you. But anywho, yeah. I mean, finally, um, the PlayStation owners can get Pony Avatars, and that's cool. And I would love to buy a Derpy Avatar for my network. But you know what? I can't because it's only locked for America right now. So, <laughs> oh no, first world problems. Hey, <laughs> I'm just eating the obvious. I'm just eating the obvious. It, I think it's stupid. To be perfectly honest with you, yeah. I'm, I'm, I am not against. Uh, I'm not against keeping uh, your passion for ponies outside of video games. But me personally, if I am going to have my icon on a video game website or whatever, I'm going to keep it video game centric. Mm. Okay. It gets to the point that personally, it gets to the point that you put MLP stuff everywhere. Like my logo on Skype is MLP related, but mm-hmm. my logo on Tumblr is not MLP related. Funny enough, mm-hmm. and nor is my logo on Twitter. Nor my logo on Xbox Live. On Xbox Live, I have a, a picture of Garros Bakarian from Mass Effect on. Mm. on as my logo and that's because it's like uh, personally I think it's better to keep it different than to have pony stuff everywhere because I don't like other things be- I-, I like other things besides pony pony is not the only thing I do hmm okay, okay. This, this fandom this fandom really likes to use the term fl- flanderization I think we ourselves tend to flanderize ourselves by by oh yeah we like ponies and what else we like ponies. <laughs> really? I'm pretty sure you like other stuff. True, true. I yes. like anime. I wouldn't spend the money. I wouldn't spend the money on uh, on on the logos. Mm, true. I don't have a PS Network account, but if I had, I wouldn't spend the money on that. I, hell, I have an Xbox Live account, and I didn't spend a single uh, uh, dime on the F- logos over there. Mm. So yeah, no. what is the point? True, true. Sorry. Yeah, me being cynical, it's a red occurrency. Uh, that was me being cynical. It's cool, man. It's cool. It's, I totally understand it because we here as human have a lot of interests. Like I said, I play the Bayonettas, I play the Marios, and I also play the Smash. And also have a PS4. I play the Watch Dogs. Oh, God. I need... Oh, God. Somebody please help me. But anywho. I got a potato. <laughs> and I also For have the longest a PS4. Th- Sorry? For the longest time, I, for the longest time, my logo on Xbox Live was Super Mario. <laughs> How? <laughs> it, it is, it is, it's super easy. If you have a webcam on your Xbox 360, you can take a screen cap with your webcam and then use it as an avatar. Oh God! 
That's brilliant. <laughs> so I did have a picture of Super Mario because yeah, you, hey, it's awesome to troll people on the Xbox li- on Xbox Live having a Super Mario avatar. But, but this is Xbox. You're supposed to have a picture of Master Chief because Halo is the best franchise. <laughs> and then they cannot keep talking because of all the BS in their mouth. <laughs> <So, laughs> It is, it is, it is hilarious to, to, to mess around with people like that. I know. A goddamn piece of troll, but he was hilarious. He was hilarious. Really? No, that, mm. but I hey. done the same thing, probably. <laughs> but hey, but hey. Same thing. It's, it's an right option. <laughs> yep. Yes. Same thing. But hey, yes. it's, it's, a, it's an option. It's an option. But Cord, what do you think, man? Like having pony avatars, you you have an Xbox, so you could do it. What do you think? I could do it, but I don't think uh, my gaming sort of life is separate from my pony life, to be mm. honest. I mean, yeah. all my gaming friends know that I'm a brony, but I don't sort of like throw it down their throats. Uh, I don't have a pony avatar, but I do have like the little pet Rainbow Dash you can get for oh, your. Yeah. Character on Xbox. That's as far as I've gone with it. I haven't like sort of gone anything else with it. That's so fine I because sort of see it separate. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's fine because that Rainbow Dash pet is irresistible. <laughs> yeah, you got it too, James. Okay. That it, no, no, no. Oh. I didn't get. It, I didn't get it. Again, I couldn't spend money on it. Come oh, on. Okay. I am. I am really. T- I'm running on a tight budget here, people. But <laughs> it is. Uh, it is. It is definitely worth uh, purchasing. If I had to buy something, I will buy that. Mm. Oh, but no yeah, a court, a court comes right right from uh, from my school of thinking that I don't let pony infect other parts of my uh, of my entertainment. Mm. Okay, understandable. In other news, Google adds pony Easter egg in Google Lunar X Prize video. Google recently added a video to their Google's Lunar X Prize YouTube channel. The video is entitled "Back to the Moon for Good: The New Space Race." At the 7 minute and 30 second mark, an image of the mare and the moon can be seen. Links can be found in the show notes below. I was shocked to see this, like, literally Google doing this. It was so fast that, like, huh, what? They did that? Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> well, if we managed to send a image of Luna into space. <sighs> yeah, all, I'm you... saying, all I'm saying is don't let British Petroleum take control of that, because then <laughs> they will mine on the moon and unleash Cthulhu. So... Don't. Don't. Not even for a joke. You can you can you can bring the realm of Rayla into the into this universe. You don't have do, you don't do that. Oh, Lovecraft was right. Oh, God, <laughs> I, know, I I know what you're talking about, James. I know uh, of course you know. Oh, that was a good episode. But yeah, um, them doing this and the what you call this space race thingy that they're doing. It's an awesome. Movie that they were, um, they did, uh, Tim Allen voices over the video. And if you guys don't know who Tim Allen is, he's the guy who does Buzz Lightyear. So yay, cool video. Go watch it. Go watch it if you have the time. But yay, Google using Luna. Yay. Obviously best pony. Oh, true. true. Well, no, uh, well, I, I was joking about, uh, BP and all that, my opinion. Um, I think it's, it's a funny Easter egg. I think it's funny. And unless you know what it is, it's going to fly completely over your head. Mm. Um, because to, to you, that is just a cartoonified version of the moon. You need to be a brownie to recognize, oh, those are the marks of the Mary in the moon. That was when Princess Luna got banished by uh, <laughs> Princess Celestia in order to protect Equestria. That, that is something that uh, uh, only brownies and fans of MLP are going to be able to... Um, yeah, and that is a cool Easter egg. I mean, I mean, it's it's the moon. It's Google. Google has accepted ponies into their um uh, office uh, into their uh, offices. Mm-hmm. It's okay for them to do a funny, silly Easter egg like that. Besides, it doesn't detract from the information about the moon that he was given. So, mm, but sure. hey, apparently this is news. So next, next we're going to talk about the dangers of escalators <laughs> and how they can kill you. <laughs> <laughs> There's a pony button on it, so yay, pony rated, right? <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, we're talking about ponies. Next one, Ro. 
Half Life, uh, excuse me, Equestria <laughs> Thirst Girls 3 confirmed. Yay! <laughs> We're beyond home entertainment, taking over the distribution rights to publish My Little Pony Friendship is Magic in Australia. A fan asked them, will they bring season four to Australia? They replied with, beyond home entertainment, have acquired the rights for season four and five of My Little Pony Friendship is Magic, and second and third Equestria Girls movies. You can accept the fine season four in stores from March. So, yeah. Um, okay, here's what I really think. When they say um, third movie... I'm thinking it's more in general that if a third movie comes out, we have the rights. That's all I'm going to say. If a third movie comes out, if. Oh, we they all... pretty much say Equestria Girls 3 is coming out in 2016, right before the, uh, the, M- the MLP movie. It, it leaves it more open than, uh, oh my god, I don't, I don't know how to continue this analogy. It does have the biggest, Sequel hook, <laughs> since Iron Man ended with a nod to the Avengers. Oh yeah, it's it it, it is it it could pretty much say Equestria Girls three coming out on July two thousand and fifteen. Hey, uh, I, I do enjoy Equestria Girls. Equestria Girls fun, and yeah, I we we all know that it's coming out. We all know we all knew it's coming out, but we got no idea when. And this is a situation where publishers got the right to publish. So um, sit. A movie and it's to me this is more of a generalization of um hey we got the rights so yay uh, that's what i think really but hey i could be wrong usually i'm wrong as usual yes mm-hmm. court what do you think mm-hmm. um i i don't know to be honest it's it's a difficult one with the equestria goes movies what do you think of I'm it i'm not I I like them to be mm. fair, but there was always going to be a third one with the ending of Equestria Goes Two. Mm, true, true, true. If you remember it, the bit yeah, where sh- yeah, I'm not going to say it. Yeah, yeah, but you remember it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Yeah. So there there was always going to be a third. It was just when they were going to announce it. <laughs> but I'm not sure how far they can keep it going. Well, you know, if they are smart, and uh, usually Hasbro is um, they are smart when it comes to their own shows and their own movies. Like, mm-hmm. they know when it's time to stop. Like, we haven't heard plans about a third J. Joe movie, and, oh, let's hope that it doesn't go any further than the second one. The second mm-hmm. one was terrible. It's not bad. The first one was terrible as well, but anyway. Mm-hmm. Um, they decided to end Transformers Prime after three seasons, oh. uh, probably because they realized that the, the cow wasn't giving enough milk anymore. Mm-hmm. Um and the, the same thing with many of the other shows, like uh, uh, what happened to Pound Puppies or what happened to Dan Versus. They know when to stop. They know when they say, okay, this is as far as, as we can go. And there is the MLP movie coming out in 2017. Yeah. And they, they, have the, they have the studio working on that. They have a writer attached to it. I'm pretty sure that they are going to go with Equestria Girls 3. And after that, they are going to stop. Perhaps continue it in the comic line, in the comic book series. Mm-hmm. Um, which if they if they continue making Equestria Girl stuff through the comics, I will be perfectly okay with it. Yeah, um, I, I would love it. That will that that will be that will be a very valid um media to expand upon that universe as much as you can expand with um such an obvious toy ploy that the only thing missing is the price tag hanging from the arms of all the characters <laughs> in the movie. <laughs> uh, but when uh when it comes to like extending that extending it too much. I, I, I'm pretty sure they are not going to go too far on it. Yeah, I, I totally agree um, with you, man. Yeah, so, and the, the exception that confer- the, the exception that confirms the rule, we have a, th- a fifth and sixth Transformers movies coming out, mm. uh, live action ones. And thankfully, they are not directed by Michael Bay. Oh, cool. But, so perhaps people are going to stop bashing on, onto those movies, mm. just based on the direct. Okay. Seriously, I, oh. Don't don't get me started. <laughs> it's cool, it's cool. I mean, I get mad with those movies, but for the wrong reasons. Yeah, true. Usually, the third sequel is usually the magic number when it comes to movies because, well, we had let's see, we had uh, the Matrix one, which was pretty good. Matrix two was, eh, and three was like, uh, three was awful. I know. And then three you was got, awful. And then you got Rocky, which went to part four or five. Part four was the one that jumped the shark. Yeah, yeah. 
But yeah, still. the movie that yeah, Rocky Four, the movie that starts with Rocky buying a robot to his uh to uh to his cousins. <laughs> oh, that thing. Oh, yeah. mm. yes. Um, God, but some other franchises they they actually if they keep going after the the, the second sequel, they actually get better. Have you guys watched the Fast and Furious series? Any oh, of them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I've watched yeah, it. Okay. Uh, one was awesome. Okay, one two, was awesome. Two, two, uh, one was okay. Two Fast and Furious was stupid. Two, uh, uh, Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift was eh. horrible. It was horrible. But um, uh, 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 Fast, and, uh, Fast and Furious, like the fourth one, mm-hmm. was pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Fast Five was great. And... Uh, a Furious Six was really good as well, mm. and now they are making, and now they are finishing the seventh one. So, like, yeah, sometimes it depends on the franchise, it depends on the involvement of the of the actors. Mm-hmm. Uh, sometimes the more movies you make of something, the better. And I think that is that may be the point uh, that has reached tempting with uh, a possible Equestria Girls three is mm. that. <laughs> <laughs> is that they want to see how much uh, how uh, if how they can afford to make three movies? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and if they can get good feedback, because if the Equestria Girls stalls weren't selling, mm-hmm. we wouldn't have seen Equestria Girls uh, two. You so. you know what? Here's something I just thought about. Because okay, we have all the James Bond movies, and how many are they out? Like ten, eleven, twelve? Twenty, probably? twenty-four. Yeah, so there's 24 Bond movies. Some are good, some are bad. Some have been rebooted for modern days and whatnot. And people still enjoy them. Well, I guess it's because the character uh, grows, changes, and evolves with the times. Like, well, you remember how the Sean Connery James Bond was very suave, wow. very uh, cold, but also very cold when it comes to like killing people and all that. Mm-hmm. And the Pierce Brosnan one was... Uh, very meek, very, very, you know, I don't know, I am not going to fall in love with these ladies or whatever. And Daniel Craig's uh, James Bond is more like a, a, a James Bond that doesn't rely on gadgets. And mm. he's more like a, he, he's more like the badass uh, a Bond. He yeah. doesn't look like what Ian Fleming was thinking, but he is what Ian Fleming was uh Ambitioning when, yeah, he wrote, yeah. when he wrote the character. So it depends on the times, it depends on the franchise. Um, hell, I will say a, mo- a franchise that shouldn't have gone any further than the, for- than the third movie, Indiana Jones. True. Uh... Indiana Jones. Another franchise that shouldn't have gone further than the third movie, Star Wars. No, 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 no. I was. <laughs> you have to yeah, remember, I was James. Actually about... Yeah, I was actually about to make, like, like, or rather reference Star Wars that there's a reason. Why Lucas started it from number four, <laughs> not number one. Yeah, yeah. Still, 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 I'm, ex- I'm excited for seven. Uh, episode seven oh, coming okay. out. So am I, so mm. am I. Yeah. But then again, that's because it's the first thing that looks like Star Wars that has been released since 1983. Yeah, that's not like, the other him. movies, they have, they have a Star Wars term in them. They, have, uh, they talk about Star Wars themes. Some Star Wars characters are in them, <laughs> but they don't feel like Star Wars. Mm. Like, I'm looking at Attack of the Clones or Phantom Menace or Revenge of the Sith. I'm looking at it and I'm thinking, this doesn't look like Star Wars. This mm. looks like something trying to pass for a Star Wars. <laughs> uh, Galaxy Quest? Galaxy Quest was a good movie. Yeah, true, true, true. I love it. I love Tim Allen in there. But... Yeah, and Galaxy Quest was a parody of Star Trek, not Star uh... Wars, you idiot. Oh, Spaceballs then. Norman, why don't you just shut up and change the topic? Oh, I love talking. <laughs> but anywho, Cor, what about uh, you? You've been quiet. I have been quiet. I'm a quiet person. <laughs> <laughs> uh, any opinion on this? Not really, because the sequels... I know that... Like, you get to a certain point and it's just... They keep going and going and going you think when it's going to end. But you can't really just... Everything has to end, so why can't they end it on something that they know is good instead of trying to push for that one more? Mm. That's true, that's true. They've ruined so many things like that, so... So, anywho, uh, Rom, take us out. This has been the NBA Show News Time. Back to you, Norman. Hey, thank you, Ro. Thank you, Ro. So, anywho, that was News Time, and our guest here is Court. And thank you, Court, for coming on, man. Uh, thank you for inviting me. It's been a pleasure. It's been a blast. The Cord. <laughs> Still an epic name. Yeah, true. So, uh, thank you, James, for coming on. Thank you, Corner, and thank you, Ro. Thank, thank you all. Just a big thank you. 
No problem, Norman. Yeah. Now, where is my money? It's in the mail. <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah, the, thanks for invi- inviting me, Norman. I promise I won't backstab you in Dark Souls. <laughs> don't, don't I need to touch the red summoning sigils first? <laughs> Maybe. Hey. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but anywho, if you have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at emilshow@gmail.com. And if you would like to send us an email uh, personally, Links are in the show notes. You can also reach us on Twitter. The show's Twitter account is at MBS Show. Tweety Bot will tweet about this show and how it's great to be on again. And believing people. Yay. As for me, you can catch me at Norman Sanzo. I tweet about toys, foods, and whatever tickles my fancy. I love food. Look at my Twitter. It's all about food and toys. Yep, I love toys too. James, what about you, man? Uh, you can check my movies late blog. That is the one that I'm going to start plugging from now on. I'm not going to plug any other because um, movies late is going to be very active in the future mm. for the next uh, couple of weeks and hopefully uh, up until Tumblr decides to do an update that says, "Hey guys, we made an update. We deleted the entire website." <laughs> ah, you can go find <laughs> other places to blog and stuff. Oh, it's going to happen. Just wait and see. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Well, but anyway, Ro, what about you? You can find me at reliciousgalley.tumblr.com or my Twitter at relicious underscore art. Yay. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Corner, I do about pretty much everything in life. <laughs> Yay. I'll, yeah, well, if someone wants to find me for whatever masochistic reason, I'm on Tumblr. Yay. And where's that, man? Uh, it's uh, corner and his corners.tumblr.com. All right, cool, cool. I'll... Uh, I'll, I'll give you a link to post in the show notes, so... <laughs> Yay! Thank you, man. So, the cord. what about you? Well, since my YouTube doesn't have anything on, um, you can find me at cordcatcher.deviantart.com, that's my DeviantArt page. But if you really want to look at my YouTube channel and all its bareness, that's just youtube.com slash cordcatcher. Awesome, awesome. Thank you, man. Thank you. And I'll be sure to put everything into the show notes. And also, please subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube, and Stitcher Radio. And also like our Facebook page. Yes, we have the Facebooks. And... You can also catch us on PonyVLive.com. And thank you to the subscriber that subscribed to the YouTube page. You're the boss, man. Thank you so much. And thank you, James, for subscribing. No, what I did, there is, okay, there is a massive stupidity going on on YouTube. Is that I wanted to check how many subscribers we had, right? Mm-hmm. But there is no way for you to check how many subscribers a YouTube channel has unless you unsubscribe and then subscribe again. What? <laughs> because w- when you are subscribed, it doesn't tell you the amount of followers <laughs> a YouTube channel has. So what I did was unsubscribe, check the amount of followers we have, feel really depressed because I don't think we deserve that that little. We deserve more. I mean, especially you. You get a lot of work put into this. And then subscribe again. <laughs> uh, you can actually check. If you go onto the page and click About, it shows the subscribe count at the bottom. I never got it's, time for that. <laughs> it's definitely, definitely not clear. No, it's it not, is not badly at all. put together, badly put together. Another website that has a very bad design. Uh, <sighs> but any- Thank you, Google. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, oh but anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo. I have I been am- James Cork. I am Romeo Old. I am Corner. And I'm Cordcatcher. The and Cord. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. We'll see you on the next podcast. Bye bye. The court, play us out.
being peaceful was his crime And I don't understand The way we all behave in this world of ours This world we live in We're a long way from Equestria We're a long, long way Play us out. Pause. No. Um. <laughs> uh, <Cardi. laughs> and you saw that. Uh, God damn it, shit. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Wonderful. But anyway, Court. Um. Uh, and get get your guitar ready and stuff. Uh, play us out. It it. There he is. Can we leave my intro, my outro though? I think that's funny. I'll, I'll put it somewhere. I'll put it somewhere. Master Normal, let me just have my outro, please. <laughs> Things are gonna get hot for cup, for taco. <laughs> uh.